October with Limit Valley couponing and welcome back. I got a Walmart. I bought a haul today. I kind of struggled to be honest um, to find some good deals. I know it's the end of the week. New coupons and things come out tomorrow on Sunday, but I really wanted to get this big boom bonus done. I've been tracking. Um, this is my third video for that and it was a large amount of items that I had to get and I kind of struggled today with finding some super low out of pocket items or even with good Ibotta. I did find some things. I also was able to get that Weekend Warrior at a $3 Weekend Warrior for eight items. Today I am actually filming with a new, I know I've been like filming with multiple different uh, backdrops and I'm just kind of pick and see, trying to see which one I like the most. This is actually some material that I found at Walmart on like in clearance and it was like a dollar a yard and I go this is kind of kind of like this pattern but let me know if it's too busy on like for a backdrop. Um, I haven't even like cut or hemmed anything if you could see it's just like literally draping but I just wanted to kind of check it out and see let me know what you guys think and let me know if it's too busy because I definitely don't want um, anything that's too busy. So today I got a few items. Like I said, it wasn't super good. There was a few things I wanted to get, but they were like, I needed to go out of town uh, to like a bigger Walmart and I just, I didn't have the time to go out of town today. And tomorrow I'm going to like focus on cleaning out my desk and all my coupon things. Cause once a month I go through and um, just cycle, go through and make sure none of my coupons have expired and just put inserts that are no longer like super relevant uh, away. And I really got to do that because I don't think I did it in June. So my couponing drawers and stuff are just crazy busy. So I'm going to spend most of my day just organizing that. So I went to Walmart and I just got what, what my local Walmart had. But it all worked out in the end because this is a moneymaker. Um, with all three of my hauls put together. So the first things that I got is the Stay Free Pads. So these are priced, I got two of them, but I'm gonna just hold up one. Uh, these are priced at $2.86 each. I picked up two of them. I used a $2 off of two coupon, which you could get from the Stay Free website. So I paid $3.72 out of pocket. I bought it, give me back $2, making it $1.72 or 86 cents each. So a decent deal I'm had. Next I did the Priscilla. This is not a super good deal, but like I said, I was kind of struggling. I've done it uh, the exact same deal a few times. So there is a $1 coupon from the Retail Me Not 616. So these are priced at $4.94. I used that $1 coupon. I paid $3.94. I bought it has a $2 rebate back on it making it just $1.94 for these pods. Next, I got the Ajax. This is the 28 ounce. So this is $1.87, and then from the Smart Source 616, I used a 50 cent coupon. So I paid $1.37 out of pocket. I bought us giving back 50 cents for this, making it just 87 cents. Next, I did um, Excedrin. I got both the migraine and the PM headache. I would have got more, but my store, these are the only two that my store had in stock. So the migraine is $4.27. I used a dollar coupon that I got from Excedrin.com. I also had a $1.50 coupon left from coupons.com that's no longer available. So for this one, I used the dollar coupon. I paid $3.27 out of pocket for this. I bought it's giving me back $2, making it $1.27. And then for this one is also $4.27. I used that $1.50 coupon from coupons.com. That's like I said, is no longer available. Or you could use coupons from the Excedrin.com website. So I paid $2.77 out of pocket. I bought it has $1.50 back on this. And then there's, and it reset. I like double checked to see if I didn't hit, like for some reason, like I didn't get my 25 cent any um, like headache release or med some medicine, like any 25 cent any medicine thing from last week. Uh, but I did get it that time and I did get it again, so it reset. Um, and then $1.50 from 
saving star. So if you haven't done the saving star yet, or if you have like a second account, making this a 48 cent money maker. Okay, so I got these Centrum multi gummies. Centrums are probably our favorite vitamins that we get, but these are $6.94. I used a $2 coupon from, I think it was called like It's Your Wellness Own It dot com, but It's Your Wellness Own It. I think it's It's Your Wellness Own It dot com, but I'll double check. So I got a $2 coupon from there. I paid $4.94 out of pocket. I bought us giving back $3, making it just $1.94 for the gummies. So next I got these Blue Diamond Nut Thins Crackers. The Blue Diamond Almonds Nut Thin Crackers. They are $2.68. From the Smart Source 616, there is a 75 cent coupon for these. So I paid $1.93 out of pocket. I bought is also giving me back 75 cents for them, making them a dollar 18. Lastly, I did the Pringles Waves BOGO. So they're $1.44 each. You pay $2.88 and then you get back $1.44, making it just $1.44 for the both of these. I spent $24.82 out of pocket. I got back $13.69 from my bottom. I got the $3 Weekend Warrior. I hit that $10 big boom bonus finally. Woo -woo. Uh, and then I also got $1.50 back from Saving Star. Today ended up being a $3.37 money maker. So super good, I'm excited about that. If it wasn't for the big $10 bonus, I definitely would not have such a good money maker. I knew going into the shopping trip that I'd be getting um, that $10 bonus. So I felt a little more comfortable spending a little bit higher for some of these products and some of the products I really like, like the Purcell and the multi gummies. Yeah, they're not the lowest items I could get, but I do like them and it's something I use. So like I said, this has been a tracking video. I've done three videos, including this, to get to this large $10 big boom bonus so to like kind of sum up everything that I've got the first trip it cost me three dollars and ninety three cents the second trip was a twelve dollar and eight cent money maker and the third trip this trip is a three dollar thirty seven cent money maker making all three of these together a eleven dollar and fifty two cent money maker which is pretty cool. I got 41 items and it became $11.52 money maker. So super good and exciting. And when there's these big bonuses, you know, where you need 30 items, 25 or 30 items, and you have a week and a half for so long, you know, it's not just like two days or something like that. When you have some time to get them, I really like splitting up my trips because going and trying to get all 30 items at once is really hard and also when they're super good deals they reset and then once they reset and go back you know a day or two later I think it takes about 24 hours for things to reset so why not just go wait the 24 hours instead of trying to get everything at once I see people do that in each its own um, but I get totally stressed out trying to like come up with like 10 things like anything past like 12 items I'm like baffled and have no idea because then the, you know there's only so many you know a handful of super good deals a week you know so why not just so I like to let them reset and repurchase them to try to get the best deals that is it for the big boom bonus for all the tracking, I will link all the videos up in the description box and the uh, I cards or whatever they're called. If you guys want to check, if you haven't seen those, you want different ideas, I'll have that all linked in if you guys want to go check it out. I hope you guys had a very safe and fun 4th of July. Ours was a quiet one compared to our normal 4th, uh, but it was really nice. But that is it for me today. Tomorrow, I think I'll clean out all my coupons, go through and organize things. I might film it to let you guys 
because I was always interested on how people organize their coupons and things. And I've tried several different ways and I think the system I got going on now is what works best for me. So I think I might film that just so you guys can kind of have a general idea of like how I organize coupons and maybe get some tips and things and maybe share some tips um, how you guys do it. But until then, I will see you guys later.